Forest at 11, it's an effort to reshape all of Carolina Forest in Horry County and community members discussing the idea to make it so its own city, in fact. So ABC 15's Joel Vasquez went to that meeting tonight where residents discussed the entire idea. And he joins us live in the studio with some of the steps that are now being taken to possibly make it happen, plus the concerns that some have. Joel. Jen, rapid growth, development, and infrastructure. These are just some of the things leading some residents to make Carolina Forest an incorporated part of Horry County. They hope that becoming, by becoming a city, they'll have more control. Close to 50 residents meet for the third time to discuss the incorporation of Carolina Forest. One of the residents leading the initiative, Norm Fay, decided to bring the topic back to the table after seeing all the development projects Horry County Council has passed. I said, that's enough. We've got to do something. And so I said, the only thing I could think of was to reinvigorate the, the city discussion with the hope that eventually Carolina Forest could become its own entity. The initiative is still in the early stages, but they created this map which sets the boundaries of the city of Carolina Forest. Face as they spoke with county leaders about the biggest concerns from the community, taxes and millage rates. That was the, a major step to figure out how much money is uh, being generated by uh, Carolina Forest for the county and then doing some research and find out what the other cities are charging, what they're paying and what the current millages are in those areas as a basis for comparisons. Peggy Cassettis moved to the Carolina Forest area four years ago. She says that she's lived in areas that tried to be incorporated and it just didn't work. I've seen it before and I like it this way. She's concerned that the payoff won't be worth the price. But I, I fear that it will not be able to generate and would just end up in a hole because I don't I don't see this be able to generate income. I really don't. Resident Catherine DeAngelis says that she likes the idea, but there's a lot of questions still left unanswered. If it comes up to a vote, I'll probably vote yes for it. But right now, you got to give me numbers. Now, their next step is to get 3,000 signatures from residents in support of the idea. And once they have that, they will send it to the state. And if that's approved, residents would vote on whether or not they want it to be incorporated. They'll also work to figure out how much money it would cost to get their, a new police force. Jen? Joelle, thank you. Now, there is not a set date just yet for their next meeting, but they're planning for it to be the end of October. We'll keep you posted.